Far off the coast of Western Australia, deep beneath the ocean, lies a remote reserve of natural gas. And with that sound, Prelude slips out of the dry dock. It's, it's, it's very big, it's very impressive, and it's a fantastic achievement by everybody. Fantastic, amazing, unbelievable, bro. We made it. Uh, we are very proud of that. Yeah. Yes. And we can say it in French. Fantastic. It's a special moment for the Prelude team, and there to witness is a crowd of nearly 500 people. All the families of, of, um, of Shell and of Technique here as well, they've all come to Korea. You know, it's a big step for them to, to be working here too. And for them to be part of this, this great event is absolutely fantastic. It's really great to have that. Will you forget this? Will you forget this? It's absolutely fantastic. Unbelievable. By the time we put our modules on, it's going to be higher than that accommodation block the whole length. After 18 million hours of design and development, including 14 months in construction, Prelude slides gracefully across the water. For Willie Gray, there's time for a snapshot for the family album and a pat on the back from the boss. No, he certainly isn't. <laughs> well done, mate. I'm really, yeah. I'm really proud of you. Yeah. Today, they can celebrate, but tomorrow, it's back to work because once moored, a whole new phase of the project is about to begin. In a global engineering project of extraordinary scale, Shell is building a giant floating facility that will liquefy natural gas at sea. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's very big, it's very impressive, and it's a fantastic achievement by everybody. With its half kilometer long hull now afloat in South Korea, 2014 saw huge advances for the project around the world. <laughs> 